just want to start by uh, just saying how proud I am of our football team and um, the way they competed in the battle tonight to the bitter end. Um, obviously very, very disappointing to have fourth quarter lead and let slip away. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to sit here and point fingers and blame. You just, uh, at the end of the day, it's my responsibility for us to find a way to win the game. So we didn't do that. But it didn't take away from what this team's accomplished this season and all the things that they've done that haven't been done in a long, long time here in Indiana. So um, really proud of the guy sitting next to me. He just played his heart out and fought and scratched and clawed to try and find ways to make plays. So, But it's a 60-minute game, and all three phases have to rise up and finish the game off when you have those opportunities. So we were not able to do that. And uh, hats off to uh, Coach Pruitt and his team for battling and finding a way to win at the end by a point. So it's just kind of one of those games we hate to see. One of those teams lose. They fought so hard. And, and uh, a lot of respect for what they do and how hard they play. Big physical team. And, and uh, I'm proud of our guys. So um, just got to learn from the things that happen and press on. Questions? In the middle. Uh, Sammy oh, Jacobs. Wait, wait for the mic, please. Okay. Sammy Jacobs from the Hoosier Huddle. They went for that onside kick after the, their first touchdown. Did you have your hands came on there? We didn't. We talked about it. You know, they obviously didn't show up, you know, an onside kick formation. Just did it from the normal look. We could have and we probably should have. Um, but uh, that's our fault, you know. But uh, we went over it on the sideline that they would do a possible middle dribble. But there's 420 to go in the game down by six. You know, their defense had played well enough to where – um, but like you say, hey, it's just an automatic situation, you know. But we did discuss it. So uh, hindsight, you, you know, 2020, you better wish you would have had him out there. But uh, still, at the same time, we didn't, and uh, they got the ball. But we didn't, uh, we didn't react very well, even though we went over it and and uh, kind of felt like it, it's a possibility, you know, you just be ready for it. So, but uh, um, they could have kicked it deep and decided to play defense, you know. So but, uh, that's obviously a key play in the game. Peyton, Charlie Clifford, Wish TV. Uh, we saw you do it all tonight. You were a magician at times. To come up that short in that fashion, how do you describe what you're feeling right now? Yeah, I mean, it hurts, um, especially for those, those guys in the locker room, those seniors um, that have gotten us to where we are now. Uh, just uh, one play here, one play there that we, you know, you look back on and you say, man, uh, if we make that one, it, it could be a different story. So. It hurts for sure. Um, hurts for those guys in the locker room. Coach, Coach Austin Price of Ballquest. Did, when they decided to take 15 seconds back here, when they decided to take 15 seconds off the clock and the kicker was already in position, did you feel like that might have thrown his rhythm off a little bit? Because he stood there in that spot for a little bit. I know they did, and I mean that's just one of those. They were explaining to me why they were doing it, and I was, you know, I didn't like it, but you know, at the same time, there's no question. You know, any any time you have to pause and wait as a kicker, it kind of makes it harder. So, uh, was not ideal, but there wasn't anything I could do about it. You know, so but uh, uh, Logie's had a tremendous career. Obviously, he's had a rough couple last two games, but uh, have not been his best. But uh, um, so just you know, one of those things. Did the next kick. Jim Boyle, Indiana Sports Beat Radio, Peyton. The first half, they pretty much dominated you guys, but the, what adjustments did you guys make? Because when you came back out, it was a different game for you offensively. I think we just went back to our base stuff and, and the things that we've been good at executing all year long and um, kind of just locked in and focused and said, you know, like, we got to go move the ball. And it's more of a more of an execution thing than anything and just getting back to, back to what we do best. Coach, can you talk about, a little bit about how the, the defense responded to uh, – and, uh, you know, obviously, outside of the, the little late rally, you held them to nine for most of the way, and they were uh, keeping their big receivers out of it. Uh, how did you feel they were doing during the flow of the game? Yeah. I thought uh, our defense played really well, you know, and uh, obviously at the end there, you need to give those things up. But, but uh, um, yeah, they just continued to battle, stop the run. Um, against a big physical offensive line I was concerned about. You know, we watched them on film get movement against – some of the best in the country consistently. And uh, and we're a very young defense, mostly freshmen and sophomores, and uh, extremely young on defense. And so I was concerned about our D-line going into the game. I thought they played extremely well. 
and uh, you know, I was worried about their big receivers as well. So um, I thought that Coach Mullen did a great job mixing things up, and and uh, obviously at the end there, you know, you, you got to find a way to finish. I thought all three all three phases had chances to finish and, and didn't, um, but I thought as as a group, I thought we tackled well um, against some you know talented running backs. Number three, he's a special player. You know, he's got a different uh, ability to cut and play and burst and. And I think he's going to be a really talented guy that's going to have a great future. But uh, um, I was worried about him. So just felt like our guys played hard and competed. And, and uh, we'll grow from this. You know, it's part of the process. I mean, it's, uh, you know, um, it's been a long time since Indiana has won eight games. We know it's been since 1967 since they won nine. So we were inches away from making tremendous history here in our program and, and being, you know, the first team to win a ball game in 28 years. So that that's what makes us hurt so bad is to be that close and realize you had history on your fingertips and you let it slip away. But, but hey, hats off to Tennessee. You know, I have a lot of respect for those guys. So that's why you play the game. And it was a great game. You know, went down to the wire and both teams were fighting and clawing and scratching. And, and uh, so, but yeah, I was proud of our defense. Uh, Tom, Jeff Brad John speaks .com. Just your thoughts on the special teams play? A missed extra point yeah. and not being ready for that uh, the onside kick. And how you would how you would, how would you evaluate it? What do you think? Why, why do you think those issues? Yeah, are that uh, you know the mixed extra point. I mean, good grief. I mean, how often does that happen with the guys? All Big Ten kicker, you know. So um, snap was good, hold was good. You know, we just missed it. So, um, but. Uh, and then the missed field goal, you know, was a tough one as well. But the, the, the surprise onside kick, you know, that's, that's a tough one to swallow. You know, it's really, you know, it's got to be, we got to execute that. I mean, we, like I said, we had, we had a heads up that it could happen. So guys just didn't react. Um, but uh, just, that's, it's my fault. We didn't get it done right. So that's a big, big mistake there on our part. But uh, at the same time, you know, yeah, special teams, it wasn't, you know, we gave it the big kickoff return as well. So it wasn't our best game of the season on special teams. And this is the last question. Couple of questions in the Sorry, we mentioned having a young defense, young team all around. What do you think they can take from experience in a game like this to lose this way and, and learn moving forward next season? Well, it could be invaluable. I mean, you know, life's a, a process of learning from things that happen to us and and uh, the things that you go through. And um, you know, we got to keep developing, keep recruiting, keep doing the things that we're doing. You know, that uh, has got us to this point. And uh, when you have such a young team, they, they're, they're going to learn lessons from this kind of situation. These guys said, we have seven guys that played in the bowl game. And of those seven guys, only five of those guys played tonight because two of those guys were out that had played in the bowl game three years ago. So um, a very, very young team with very limited bowl experiences. And, you know, it's been a long time since we played before, and I thought they handled it well. And, and they were first class um, all the way here during the bowl experience. And just talking to all the people that were here that, you know, they did a great job. Jackson did a great job hosting us, and, and they were first class. But, but we got a lot of compliments about how our guys conduct themselves and how they handle themselves. And, and so they, they in, in a new environment with a, you know, a lot of things going on, a lot of distractions around them, they handled it very, very well. So with the young team, I was concerned about that just because that's, you know, new for our guys. But, but uh, we're building a program that expects to be in these games every year. We haven't been in the past, you know. Um, Tennessee's won more Gator Bowls than we've won bowl games as a program. That's a fact. We've only won three bowl games in our program's history. So uh, we're building um, for the future, and that makes this one hurt all the more. And uh, um, But at the same time, I'm proud of our guys and the direction that we're going and, and uh, the way that we're building it. We just got to stay the course. That's what grit's all about, perseverance and passion towards a long-term goal. So we're going to just keep on fighting. Thank you very much. Elio. Thank you, Coach.